Hello, I'm Kate Bavalock with the Sandwich Chamber of Commerce with your weekly Chamber Update. I am at Sandwich Agway this week with a co-owner Donna Cutiel, and we're here to talk about the Holidays Retail Program. The centerpiece of the program is this booklet. Donna, thanks for having us today. Thank you for being here. You're welcome. Um, the centerpiece of the program is the booklet of events that's being distributed around town. Um, we have put together all of the wonderful events going on in Sandwich during the holidays. The chamber events um, like Pancakes with Santa and the North Pole Express and our store window decorating contest, but also many of the other community events, the carol sing, the um, jazz concert for the band boosters, and a lot of events that the retails, retailers have put together as well to make shopping in sandwich really fun and wonderful for the holidays. Donna, do you want to tell us a little bit about your event that's in the booklet and maybe some of the events that you enjoy? Sure, sure. Um, our event, we have an open house on December 4th. We have uh, Frosty the Snowman coming this year for pictures. Um, we're going to have them outside by the fire pit. We're going to have toasted marshmallows, s'mores, um, plenty of food and music. Uh, that is December 4th. One of the other things that we do is a um, the lighting of the giants. If you remember going up and down 6A in East Sandwich, all those huge lighted uh, rebar formed uh, giants of men. Those are going to be started to be lit uh, the day after Thanksgiving and they're going to go all the way through uh, January 1st through New Year's. Um, so that's a really fun thing to do to go up and down 6A in the middle of the night watching all these lights go. Um, other things that some of the other uh, retailers are doing is origami at Splash Stationaries. Um, there's a couple book signings with Mary's and Titcombs, tons of food tastings at some of the other retailers. Yeah. And uh, Donna, can you um, can you tell us, remind us what some of the giant figures were and why they were chosen? I know it started with a set of angels to commemorate two sandwich teenagers who passed away at the high school. Um, those were the first giants, were the angels that Michael Magyar created. Um, and then the, um, a couple other giants were added on over the years. You want to tell us yeah. about some of those? Sure. Uh, Michael Magyar, he has a giant uh, blowing a large piece of glass. There is um, the, now Momo's used to be Gallery Gourmet. They have a big giant chef uh, holding a wine bottle. We have a gardener who's pouring water down, so the little blue lights are there. The Beehive Tavern has a bee that lights up and swirls around down at the bottom like he's actually flying. Titcombs Bookshop has their gentlemen, their colonial gentleman who stands outside. Uh, there's also the baseball player from the um, baseball card collection. And there are a few others that are added. We actually have 12 of them this year that are going up and down 6A. Crow Farm is new this year. They're going to have a big giant crow. So it starts at Crow Farm and goes all the way down to the Barnstable line. The theme of this year's holidays booklet is it's a gift because shopping and sandwich is such a wonderful gift to us all that you can support your local independent businesses and do your holiday shopping in town and it's very stress-free. There's plenty of parking, there's friendly staff. It's a very different dynamic than going to the mall and fighting the crowds. Here in Sandwich you'll find wonderful retailers who are um, happy to help you and the shopping experience is just wonderful. And um, the centerpiece of the program is It's a Gift which is our raffle drawing where we want to reward the customers who do support the sandwich businesses by giving away wonderful gift cards. Donna, you want to tell us a little bit more about that program? Yeah, sure. There are, for It's a Gift, there are 31 retailers participating in this program. What they've done is they've donated $10 gift certificates, and with each one of those $100 packages that the customers can win, there's multiple gift certificates in there for the $100. So you're not just winning a $100 gift certificate to one store. You could be winning $10 gift certificates for up to 10 different stores or five different stores that give multiple gift cards. Um, each retailer of the 31, and there's different restaurants, uh, retailers, jewelry shops, bookstores, the golf course, um, and liquor stores, they have a uh, box for the drawing. Every time you go in and shop at one of these stores and you don't have to purchase anything, go in and fill out the card, register to win, and then the drawing is December 17th. Correct. Yeah. Thank you. Donna, you're, we're here in Agway to promote the Shopping and Sandwich program. Tell us a little bit about um, what you're doing getting ready for the holidays, um, your busy time here at Agway and what you're selling. 
Yeah. Well, we're just starting to get our deliveries of greens. Uh, trees came in uh, a couple days ago. We're getting another shipment of trees and wreaths and roping. Uh, we sell five different types of Christmas trees, fresh cut. We hand decorate our own Christmas wreaths. We decorate our own swags. We make our own cemetery baskets. Uh, the last couple of years, we've really been trying to stress on family traditions and bringing your families back out into the garden center, um, not buying a fake Christmas tree. <laughs> we really want to stress coming out with the family, shopping, uh, and staying local instead of going out of town. There's really almost everything that you can buy right here in Sandwich. So tell us that day again when you come and pick your tree and you can have a picture taken with Frosty, the whole family, and Frosty pick the tree out together. Yeah. yeah. Uh, December 4th is a Saturday. Uh, Frosty the Snowman will be here to take pictures uh, from 11 to 2 that day. We will have toasted marshmallows by the fire pit, um, lots of fun and music and drinks. And we also actually have a uh, wreath seminar where you can come in and decorate your own wreath with us and take it home with you that day. Great. Thank you so much, Don. I'm here at Lely's Pizza with Joe Lely. We're in the heart of Merchant Square. Uh, Lely's Pizza is participating in our gift certificate drawing. So if you want to enter for hundreds of dollars worth of gift certificates, come on by Lely's and fill out the form and um, enter to the drawing. Um, if they win a gift certificate to Lely's Pizza, tell them about some of the wonderful food they can have here, Joe. Uh, well, this is a, uh, a family uh, a recipe uh, restaurant that... Uh, I have uh, cultivated over the years. I've been in the business for over 20 years. Um, uh, everything's homemade from our uh, dough, uh, meatballs, uh, sauce, chicken palm, eggplant, uh, veal. Uh, we make our own roasted red peppers. Uh, I make my own bread uh, so I could serve all that with my, uh, my pastas. And uh, we have a lot of other like traditional. I do macaroni and cheese, chili, uh, chicken vegetable soup. Uh, uh, we do a little catering. So uh, come on down and uh, hopefully you get an opportunity to win. And, Try Lely's Pizza here in Merchant Square. It is a, it is a very small, tight kitchen that we have here, but uh, you know we're able to put out uh, you know a number of pizzas, especially on Friday night. Uh, 60, 70 pizzas on a Friday night, uh, along with uh, uh, subs, uh, many pasta dishes and appetizers, and uh, it's a little bit smaller than you know most kitchens, but uh, I've been able to shoehorn everything in here to to make it work. Uh, you know these are my old pizza ovens from. Uh, I've had these for many years, for you know, over 12 years, and they seem to follow me around from one location to the next and everything else. Today we're making a big pot of sauce. Uh, again, I make a, probably every five, every six days, uh, we make a, there's almost 10 gallons of uh, marinara sauce. And again, it's uh, traditional recipes, uh, as I mentioned earlier, from, uh, from my mom and my dad. Uh, my dad came to this country when he was eight years old from Bologna, Italy, and my mother's she was born in this country, but uh, uh, her family is from Filicudi, which is a small island off the coast of Sicily. So these are all family recipes that I've used over the years, and you know, I've tweaked them here and there, and I've learned a lot of things over the years. But uh, so far, so good. Everybody seems to really enjoy it, and uh, I want everybody to come on down and give us a try, because uh, you're not going to know until you try. And again, you know, we, we are here in Merchant Square. We're located behind Merchant Square Liquors and uh, Donna Grady uh, Beauty Salon. So come on down, give us a try. I know we're, I like to say, I think we're kind of one of the hidden gems here in Sandwich. Uh, again, we just uh, celebrated our sixth uh, month in business uh, this past Wednesday. And I, I hope I'll be here for many years to serve uh, Sandwich and uh, the surrounding communities. Wonderful. Thank you so much. The other thing I really wanted to highlight while we're here at Lely's is our Thursday Night Lights program. For the last few years, we've been encouraging holiday shoppers to come out on Thursday nights by having the businesses stay open so you can do your holiday shopping after business hours in Sandwich. And this year, we added to the Thursday Night program a giving component where you can give back to your community. The theme of the Holidays booklet this year is it's a gift. So it's a gift to you if you win a raffle prize, but it's also a gift to the community. Um, when you um, come out on Thursday nights to the participating merchants. Um, here at Lely's Pizza on Thursday nights, if you make a $15 or more purchase and you bring a canned good for the sandwich food pantry, uh, Joe here will give you a free small pizza with your order. So thank you very much, Joe. What did you like about this program where you are um, collecting canned goods for the food pantry? Well, I think it's very important that you know all the local merchants and people here in Sandwich try to give back to the community because again Christmas is a is such a special wonderful time of the year and there are so many unfortunate individuals that don't have the 
the probably say the homes or the foods that they should have on their tables. And I think it's important that we can all contribute and help people where we can uh, during the holiday season. Uh, I myself, I'll be also be running a a, a fundraiser to uh, to help families in need. So uh, you know, be on the lookout for the uh, the posting on that. And I hope everybody will uh, come on down and give us a try and help the community and give back. Wonderful. So again, if you want to see more about the um, Gift for the Community Thursday Nights program, it's right here in your Holidays booklet and those are available around town. Thank you so much. I'm here at the Greenbrier Nature Center and Jam Kitchen with John Richmond. They are also participating in our holidays program, um, both in the um, gift certificate drawing in the center of the book and also in the events. And uh, John, can you tell us a little bit about the Country Christmas event here at Greenbrier? Well, the Country Christmas event runs every weekend from the first weekend of December up through Christmas. It's an open house, uh, music, mulled cider, craft items. And we have tastings of our jams, jellies, and relishes actually every day of the week, but more um, during country Christmas. And we just hope everyone can come and have a good time. And then going with our theme of It's a Gift for the Holidays, um, our shopping program here in Sandwich. John, can you tell us about all some wonderful gift ideas here at the uh, Greenbrier Nature Center in the gift shop? Thank you, Kate. We have quite a few um, things that might surprise people in the gift shop. We have a very nice section of garden books. Uh, this year we went uh, strongly with dinosaurs and dinosaur books, which fits in with some of the programs, although they don't roam the grounds of Greenbrier. Uh, we have bird books. We have cooking books. We have um, wonderful homemade wooden uh, spreaders, oven poles, and bowls done by Lorit Loy in Shady, Villa Shady Valley, Tennessee. We have a lot of local things. We have uh, glass from Arden Lockwood, a local glass man from a young man from Katuit. We have uh, soaps made in West Barnstable. Um, in general, we have three-dimensional wooden puzzles, dinosaurs, animals, um, two-dimensional puzzles, nature bingo, calendars, wonderful selection of children's books, chocolate-covered cranberries, food from a wonderful woman in uh, Coleraine, Massachusetts. She has her own, she started with her own herb garden and now she makes wonderful mixes for dips, soups, oatmeal, which is particularly popular. A lot of Thornton Burgess books, obviously, coloring books, refrigerator magnets, um, lots of stocking stuffers, and if we can come in this way, um, tons and tons of stuffed animal puppets, which are wonderful, by Folk Manus. Um, and stocking stuffers galore. So we hope you'll come and look and see all the things we have. John, one of the things that I really love here in the shop are the puppets, and these are great gifts for children, for a grandparent or parent who loves nature and wants to inspire that love of nature in their children. You want to tell us about the puppets? I'm very enthusiastic about the puppets. Uh, I, I guess the child in me still loves <laughs> stuffed animals and puppets playing with their own grandchildren. Um, we have a lot of unusual puppets. This one is a sea otter. Uh, it, yep. <laughs> Hi, Kate. Thanks for coming by. <laughs> too bad it's too cold to go for a swim. <laughs> and we also have uh, finger puppets, which are less expensive, huge variety, very cute, lots of fun. Um, the only problem that I find with them is keeping track of all the different voices you're using. Um, <laughs> but the kids are pretty forgiving of that. And I, I think a lot of the items that you um, have here in the shop are handmade and, and local, and that's a really nice thing for uh, shopping for someone who has everything, and um, in particular the jams that are made right here in Sandwich. Can you tell us about those? As you know, the jams are made in the jam kitchen just as they have been for almost 100 years now. Um, they're fruit and sugar. Be, there are no additives. If they aren't the original recipes, then they're done in the original style. Uh, there are new flavors constantly coming in. We have jam workshops uh, a couple nights of Saturdays and Wednesday nights. You come and make your own and take them home. You can also buy fancy labels for them to use as gifts. And as I said, we, we have them to taste every day. So please come and taste them. All right. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you.